Hi everyone, I'm Toby and this is Kelsey Merritt and Hi. we're going to show you how to get her Rihanna Diamond Ball makeup look. So we've done this gorgeous, it's like a really metallic dark forest green shade. So First up we're going to use the Aceology Frosé Infusion Gel Mask. I've been loving these masks during fashion week for my girls. They're fantastic to increase and boost moisture levels in the skin. They'll leave the skin feeling super soft and supple. And it's also really calming on the skin because it includes rose petal extract to moisturize and reduce any redness. So perfect for red carpet events or if you just want to refresh on your skin, I highly recommend these masks. They're super easy to use. You just take the protective uh, layer off and then you place it on. And then sometimes I use a jade roller even just to make it a little bit more therapeutic. And you can leave them on for anywhere up to 30 minutes. So once this is on, I'm just going to let Kelsey enjoy that on her skin. And then next, we're going to hydrate the lips. And we're going to make sure that this sinks in throughout the makeup application. So at the end, she'll be ready to get her lip on for the red carpet. And I'm also going to curl the lashes. This is Surratt Eyelash Curler, which you know that I love. And I always use this when I'm getting my clients ready for their events, it doesn't pinch at all. So um, obviously your application is important, but it's just really gentle on the eyelashes. So once I've done those two things, I'm going to come back. To so I'm going to apply one of my new favorite products, which is Armani Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. This product is so gorgeous on the skin. It leaves a really subtle glow and it just sits perfectly under the Armani Luminous Silk foundation. So I'm just using a flat paddle brush to apply that. You can also use your fingers to massage it into the skin, but it's just divine and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a new primer. And then once we've done that, I am going to start on the eyes because we're doing a really heavy dark forest green eye tonight. I'm just going to line them with this MAC Cosmetics Eye Coal in Minted. And this is going to be, I guess, the base of the eye color. So I'm just running this along the upper lash line. You can do this really quickly because we're gonna smudge it out in a little bit. I'm also going to wrap this same color underneath the eye because I want it to be a really smoky, intense eye look. I love these pencils. MAC Cosmetic Eyeliners have always been a staple in my kit. Highly recommend them. So once I've finished doing that, the next step is to grab a makeup brush and then to come in and just smudge out the work you've just done. So just softening the edges. And I'm using a Zoeva brush. I love these brushes. They've got beautiful handles and they're super, super soft on the eyes. So you can see here, I'm just buffing that out. And then my next step, I found this product which is perfect in color. I had to dig through and find something that really suited the look I wanted. And this is by Maybelline. And these metallic chrome paint-like formulas are absolutely fabulous for a really strong, intense eye look. So you can see here, this is the Electric Emerald shade. I'm just using that same brush to apply and I'm just pulling it out. You can see here I'm creating like a wing-like shape. So I'm not going too close to the brow, but I'm pulling it outwards and upwards. And again, once I've finished applying the first round of the product, then I'm just going to blend out the edges and soften them a little bit. So this is pretty similar to the eyeliner color actually. So they work really, really well together. And I start with the eyeliner because I can just get it really close to the lash line and make sure that intensity is there for the entire look. So now I'm coming in with a fluffy brush and I am just going to work those edges out. I really wanna make sure that the shape is beautiful on Kelsey's eye shape. So that means not going too high above the eye and just really pulling that wing outwards. So now I'm just going to tame the brows a little bit. This is Anastasia's Brow Wiz. I'm just filling them in slightly. Kelsey's got amazing brows, so they don't need too much product. 
I just make sure I brush the product through so it looks super natural. I don't want a heavy brow for this look. And I've used clear brow gel as well. So now I'm using Huda Beauty Obsession Palette and I'm just putting a little bit of like a dark charcoaly brown tone just in those outer corners of the eye just to make it a little bit more intense for that smokiness. I'm going to wrap a little bit of that underneath the eye as well. And I'm using a Ray Morris brush. This is one of Ray's original brushes, I believe, from a long time ago. I believe if you buy really good makeup brushes, they should last you for years and years. This is a 217 brush I'm using now, and I'm just making sure that little bit of work that I've done is blended out. Okay, so now I'm going to use this amazing MAC Cosmetics metallic finish eyeshadow. I love this color. When I went to the store to pick an eyeshadow shade for this look, so Kelsey had sent me the dress and I knew I wanted to do a metallic green eye. So I went to MAC and I found this eyeshadow and you can just see how gorgeous it is. And once she's got the dress on, you'll see how perfectly it teams with her look. So I'm just putting this on the lid and underneath the eye a little bit. And now I'm coming in. This is a NARS eyeliner and this is black. And I'm just intensifying the whole eye now by running this on the lower waterline. And then I'm also going to pop it into the upper waterline. I find when you do the upper waterline for a really strong look, it just really finishes it off. So now I'm just using a little bit of micellar water and a cotton pad just to clean up that little bit of fallout. I'm going to apply the Ula Henriksen Banana Eye Cream, which is really beautiful on the skin. I'm just going to hydrate that area because we're going to get into the skin work now in a little bit. So I'm just going to make sure all my edges are really, really blended. Might come back in and do a little bit more work on the shading. But anything with a fluffy edge is going to be great for the eyes for a look like this. So you want it to be really, really soft. This is a Charlotte Tilbury makeup brush that I'm using right now. So I've decided to come in now with, this is the Emerald Obsessions palette by Huda Beauty. And I've decided to use, it's kind of like a grayish green color. And I'm just putting a little bit of that into the eye, just to pump it up a little bit. Sometimes it's always good to step back and have a look at how it's looking before you go too far. So we curled the lashes earlier and now I'm using Benefit, their Real Mascara. Um, I'm applying it with a MAC Cosmetics fan brush. As you know, I love this technique. It's painting the lashes from either side and pulling them upwards. I'm actually going to use uh, a triple kind of pack of lashes tonight, something that I haven't included in one of my looks before. So I was gifted these and I'm gonna show you what they look like very shortly. So now we're just applying to the lower lash line. I love this mascara. This is probably one of my favorite mascaras, both on clients and on, on myself. You can see the wand is incredible. You can really build up the lashes with this mascara. So if you're wanting a really full voluminous lash, highly recommend. Okay, so now I'm applying the Duart Beauty eyelashes. I think I've pronounced that right. There's a packet. Um, and they come in three parts for each eye. So I'm only gonna use two parts. So I'm gonna use the outer edge and then the middle edge to start with. And we're gonna see how they look. Because they are actually quite long. So you have to kind of test them first and see if you like the finish. So I'm just giving Kelsey a little look here just to make sure she's happy with them. And she was, so now we're coming in with just a little bit more of that Benefit There Real Mascara. And I'm just going to push those lashes into Kelsey's own lashes, just so they look all unison in, in one lash line. So now I'm going to start with the base, and this is Armani Luminous Silk. 
So I always mix a few shades. I believe on Kelsey I mixed 6.5 and 8, but I'd have to check. Um, and I always like to do a little bit lighter in the center. And I like to contour the skin on the outer edges with a darker shade. I just love this foundation. You can see how gorgeous it looks already and I haven't even done concealer or powder or anything. I'm using an It Cosmetics number seven brush. I'm just buffing that in. And I'm also gonna come in and blend that a little bit more later on with a beauty blender. Whenever I do a red carpet look, I want the skin to look absolutely beautiful. And so I believe that pushing the product into the skin is the best way to do that. Creates just such an amazing base and also will last throughout the evening. So Kelsey was attending the Rihanna Diamond Ball. And so we, we did this glam, I think it was about 430 I think we had two hours for glam, even though we didn't take that long. So now I've just got a damp beauty blender and I'm really pushing that product into the skin. And it's looking absolutely gorgeous. And so next we're going to conceal just a little bit under the eyes. And I'm using NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm applying this here with a MAC Cosmetics brush. And I really like to sharpen up the smoky eye using concealer also. So if you saw that little motion of just pushing the product along that lower edge of the smoky eye, and you just really pull that concealer upwards and it just creates that beautiful winged smoky shape. So now I'm just coming in with the Beauty Blender ever so softly just to really blend that product in and make sure it's absolutely perfect. And so now I'm using Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate and I'm using a MAC Cosmetics Duo Fiber Brush to apply it. So I'm running this under the cheekbone. I'm gonna put a little bit into the temples and on the jawline. And this is gonna create some beautiful dimensions for the makeup look. I love this product. I find I use it on most of my clients, so I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it already. It's super creamy. I guess once you play around with it, it's quite easy to use. I just find you need to really blend it in so you can't see it and it just looks like a shadow rather than um, just like a blob of brown product. So you'll see here, what I do is I place everything where it needs to be. And sometimes I blend it out with a brush, but today I decided to use a beauty blender. And it's a little bit damp, which helps melt that product into the skin. And so once I'm finished blending, the next step is going to be the highlighting, which is one of my favorite parts of the makeup. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of powder in the T-zone just for now, and this is Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. Now we've done all the skin work, we're just gonna set that. I love this powder, I use it on everybody for red carpets, fabulous. Highly recommend if you haven't tried it. It's also great for just everyday use as well. It helps your makeup last longer. And then once we've done that, I'm going to use Laura Mercier, and this is the bronzing powder in shade number four. And I'm using a MAC Cosmetics brush here just to dust that over the same areas that we use the Tom Ford shade and illuminate. This product's gorgeous for anyone with really tan skin, a little bit of a darker bronze complexion. It's such a gorgeous product, I love it. You may have seen this little video on Instagram, but always love when my clients get some pieces of content while we're doing makeup, just for Instagram stories or for the grid. So we can see all the gorgeous products that we use. Okay, this product is one of my new all-time favorites. So this is Chanel, it's called the Balm Essential. If you are looking for a gorgeous highlighter, I highly recommend this one by Chanel. 
It's in a cream stick form and you can see I'm using a MAC Cosmetics Duo, Duo Fiber Brush to apply it. And it's just absolutely stunning. It is a little bit similar to the product in Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate, but I feel like it gives a more glassy, glossy finish. It's not sparkly. Um, it's not glittery. It's just like really gorgeous, dewy and fresh looking. So now I just want to amp that highlight up and I'm going to use MAC Cosmetics Soft and Gentle. I am using a fan brush here just to really intensify that highlight. So you can see once it hits that light, it's just absolutely gorgeous. We're just putting that on all the high points. So the cheekbones, top of the cupid's bow, center of the nose. And then I feel like it's a great product to also use under the brow bone as well. I find when it hits that light, it's just stunning. I love this product. I think I've had this product in my kit for at least five years. I'm obsessed. Looks great on a lot of people. And this is a Charlotte Tilbury makeup brush, I believe that I'm using. Yes, it is. So you can see now we're also just doing a little bit more content. And I use the makeup light. So it helps me obviously to be able to see what I'm doing and it's great for filming and Instagram and behind the scenes content. So now I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's lip liner and this is the iconic nude lip pencil and just lining Kelsey's lip line. These lip pencils are absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend if you're looking for a new lip pencil. All the shades are absolutely stunning. And then for the actual lip color, we're using a beautiful kind of pinky shade, I guess. And this is, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. So forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Recusion? I'm not sure. Uh, but it's by NARS and it's a satin lip pencil. And it's absolutely stunning. I actually uh, applied this to my sister on her wedding day. It's a really, really beautiful color. It's great for red carpet, even for weddings. It's gorgeous and it's just really easy to wear too it doesn't dry your lips out and it's great for um, you know reapplying you just pop the big stick out and you don't really need to keep applying lip liner so this is a finished look so I'm just giving Kelsey a little bit of time to have a look at everything make sure she's happy and comfortable the lashes are on great and she likes the lip color. And to finish, we're going to do some body product for that red carpet. And my go-to product is definitely Charlotte Tilbury Supermodel Body. And I've got the big pump version, which is awesome for my kit. Perfect, thank you, my love. And so there's a finished look. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Thank you so much to Kelsey Merritt for being the gorgeous model that she is. I absolutely love creating this makeup look for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.